Not your keys, not your coins. Ever heard that phrase? Today we're talking about a choice that could mean the difference between owning your crypto and just pretending to own it. This is the third of six videos in our series. I'm Eva for Meme 5. Let me tell you a crazy story. Remember James Howell? He accidentally threw away a hard drive containing 7,500 BTC. Today, that's worth over $220 million. Basically, 650 Lamborghini Aventadors sitting in a Welsh landfill. And the worst part, there's absolutely no way to get it back. That's the world of non-custodial wallets for you. They're like being your own bank. Complete control, total privacy, but also total responsibility. If you lose your keys or sit phrase, nobody can help you recover them. It's like having a safe that will self-destruct if you forget the combination. On the flip side, we have custodial wallets. Think of them like keeping your money in a regular bank. Companies like Coinbase or Binance hold your crypto for you. Lost your password? No problem. Just contact support. Want to trade quickly? Easy peasy. But here's the catch. You're trusting them with your money. Remember what happened with FTX? Millions of people trusted their crypto to a custodial platform and now their money is gone. When you use a custodial wallet, you're basically saying, here hold my beer and my life savings. So what's the right choice? Well, smart crypto users often use both. Keep your long-term savings in a non-custodial wallet where you control the keys and use custodial services for daily trading and smaller amounts. In our next video, we'll reveal the top 5 most secure crypto wallets on the market right now. You won't want to miss these rankings. Hit subscribe and tap the notification bell to catch our next episode. Share in the comments. Do you trust exchanges with your crypto or do you keep your own keys?